Hey everybody, we need him handicapping thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, on Monday afternoon, January the 2nd, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 2 this afternoon, folks. 12.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time, <clears throat> 7 furlong sprint on the dirt track, 4 year rolls and up race for a starter allowance purse of some $30,000. Contenders number 2, follow the leader. Number 3, Brandon's Beach. Number seven, Plurosity, and number five, Tough Jolter. Number two, Fall of the Leader, takes a class drop of four track master units this afternoon. Has hit the board in five straight starts with four of those efforts, including a pair of wins, also qualifying as power runs. I also note that those circle trips came in as second and fourth races back, which of course is indicative of bounce pattern, folks. The bounce will be up positive this afternoon if this pattern continues. Number three, Brandon's Beach has posted a pair of power run wins in his last three starts. Gets a return ride from jockey Edwin Rivera this afternoon. Rivera has been in his irons on seven previous occasions, hitting the board in five of those outings, winning three times en route to a positive 444% return on investment in the process. Race two summary, number two, fall of the leader. Tops my contenders list today, which also includes number three, Brandon's Beach, Number seven, Plurosity, and number five, Tough Jolter, 2375 in the second from Parks Racing. Bonus long shots, Turf Paradise, race six, the nine to two shot, number six, La Prieta Linda, good overall speed for the six and a half for a long sprint. Portland Meadows, race ten, number eight, Icarus Rising, four to one in the morning line, is a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier. It's also the overall speed leader in this maiden field, racing at or about today's distance of 8.3 furlongs. That's a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. So from Parks Racing on a Monday, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.